Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Hello Brother. Hello Sister Podcast. I am your host, Reed. I'm Ashlyn. And let's get right into it. So, I actually have two topics today. You have an Am I the Asshole? Two. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. One's going to be like smaller though. I'm going to be here forever. Sorry about that. It's okay. I'm just joking. All right. All right. All right. So, on to our first topic. All right. So, our first topic today is Star Wars prompts fan backlash for removing Slave One ship name. And Slave One is the ship of Boba Fett. Do you know who Boba Fett is? You're not, I know you're not a big I'm Star Wars person, sure but you've kind of. So Slave One, here's his, I guess, this nice little video right here. Mm -hmm. So that's his ship, and that's Boba Fett. And so he's having a new series come out, and it seems like Disney is trying to get away from the name Slave One. Um, Wait. We watched that show. We watched The Mandalorian. Yeah. He's he's in that, though. Okay. So um, basically it seems like Disney's trying to get away. I don't know if really any fans or anything are -hmm. are doing this or saying this. Um, So... What is what are your immediate thoughts on this? Um, I get it from Disney's standpoint, but I don't, I don't understand why they need to get away from that because they're not the ones that wrote this. That's how it's been before they bought it, and right, it was right. before they bought it. Well, so. okay, so I think the f- ship's first debut. Let's see, let's see how old this ship name is. So uh, it was in Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> so empire strikes back was 1980. 1980 and i'm assuming i don't know i'm assuming that it had the name back in empire strikes back that's when boba fett was first there mm-hmm. and that's when that ship was first there so it's been around for 41 40 40 years now let's say 41 40 mm-hmm. and a half years and now it's it's prompting this um I mean, I understand why they would want to get away from that, but it, it's, I, I mean, Star Wars is completely different. It's a whole different storyline right. than what happened here. It's, it's a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Right, and they do have slaves. So. No, yeah, and there are, yeah, there are slaves in the, in the Star Wars universe, and I don't know, it just, it feels like performative justice instead of actual you know social justice if you mm-hmm. believe that that's being needed or whatever um it feels like you know it's they're probably i don't know it maybe they're like oh we're avoiding controversy but this is also causing controversy and mm-hmm. i know there are some star wars purists that are like i get it i get why they you want to change it but at the end of the at the end of the day that's what the name's been right so i think we should keep it or something um yeah i don't know like i'm not I, at the end of the day i really don't care if it's if they just, I would rather them like just say it's Boba Fett ship in the in the show or something or get to the ship. You don't have to yeah. specifically say Slave One. I kind of want them to keep the name because it seems, it seems like you're you're trying to I guess change what it was. And if it if it's, they probably shouldn't have even announced anything or did anything because that draws attention to the fact. Well, I think it stems from a Lego set, so. Yeah, see, I don't know if you can see that, but it so says someone noticed it, and then yeah, they go whoa, 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 whoa. That's that's slave one. That's how you. That's how you spell it. And and I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, like it really doesn't matter. But I also don't think those that were that are slaves or our ancestors of slaves wake up every morning sweating and going, I can't believe Boba Fett named his ship Slave One. You know. Like I, yeah. I, I think it, it's so small in in a vast sea of other things that you could be worrying about. Um, and like I said, I I really think the only people that are actually I think this Disney did this. I don't think there was like a petition or anything from from anyone to to do it. But I mean, like at the end of the, and at the end of the day, you know why Disney did it. You know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's yeah. It's so I just it feels ingenuine and. Um, I guess I, I do like how they were like, okay, let's just try and slide this through where we where we don't make an announcement that we're like so upset with this, which I think is probably the right way to do it. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're kind of causing more controversy just because you are including like I don't know, you're just you you did it as opposed to just leaving it and letting it be, and just you know just don't talk about it. I guess. Yeah, I mean, I I'm sure it was a tough call too for them, but they're obviously they 
just didn't want any backlash in case it did happen. Mm -hmm. Um, So, and I have no idea who the writers were or anything along when they made it. And I don't like, I don't, I, I don't, it doesn't feel like a joke name. I think, I mean, it's a pretty badass ship. And honestly, I think slave one is a, is a cool name for a ship, but no, no, you're not feeling that. All right. All right. So maybe you, any last I'm, thoughts? It's not a cool name. I think it's a cool name. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I really think that I understand that, but I think that it's kind of a drop in the, <laughs> In the bucket, it's not anything yeah. huge. But like I said, it's been around since 1980. And it seems like... No, I'm saying keep if they had kept Slave 1, it oh. would have been like, yeah, you'd get Backlash, but would it be that bad for you, Disney? Like, Yeah, but the people that would make Backlash about it are just such... It's like a, a loud minority oh. group. Like, Well, and the Karens of the world. No, that's what I mean, is like yeah. Karens are like the loud... Like, they're the loudest, but they're also such a small factor. Yeah. It's it's like all the Twitter stuff. It's like Twitter is not real life yeah. just because people yeah. push stuff. And it's like, you know, it, it's the same thing where it's like Ghostbusters has an all-female cast and it gets a bunch of retweets and a bunch of articles saying men hate that Ghostbusters is all-female now and then the movie doesn't do well. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's because... It, I guess, I mean, I think companies look at Twitter and go, oh, this is the trend things are going, and people really don't feel that way. Mm-hmm. So, but, like, I think if anyone was going to make a hubbub about it, it might have been that group on Twitter, the right. social justice warriors or whatever you want to refer to them as. But um, I, I just... Mean, cancel culture is awful at this point, so... Yeah, but they're not going to cancel Star Wars over... Or a, Disney. <laughs> over a ship name. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think they should have changed it, but it, I understand why they did it, but yeah. I, I'm not going to you know throw a fit about it right all right any last thoughts or anything that's it that's all i got okay so next up we're gonna go over um a topic that i kind of got from tiktok so you're gonna need this oh, okay or do you want to do your topic first no let's do this okay what's something you have no way of proving but you believe to your core is true the 1960s women's rights movement was nothing more than a manipulation from government, corporations, and media. Think about it for one second, okay? 1950s, middle class, guy could go work as a mailman, provide for a whole entire family of five, pay for the kids to go to college, privately owned businesses were thriving. But the government wasn't making enough money, so they manipulated people just like they are in the 21st century. Right now, as you see it happening before your eyes, go to work. Don't work for the man at home. Go work for the corporation. Make your own money. Have your own independence and freedom. And I think it was just simply because they wanted more tax money. Think about it. 50% more of the population going out to work. They made $100 billion more in 10 years' time from the 1960s and 1970s. Hmm? They also convinced women, if you want to have a good job and bring home all that money, you have to go to college. But you need to take out federal loans for that with interest rates so high, but we make money off of those too. Flash forward to the 21st century, dual incomes are needed to live, and now I'm still doing the 1950 housewife shit while working eight hours a day. They got manipulated and played, and we have the repercussions from it, because movements always have a repercussion. So, where did she say she got... Who made the movement? The government and who? She says that the women's 1960s movement of mm-hmm. entering the workforce probably stemmed from women but was influenced i guess by corporate culture and government culture and yeah but why would a corporation do that she was saying because Sorry. because when so like basic economics when you have more people striving for a job then that job you can then lower the the pay for that job because right. if you have so that's where corporations would see the benefit of if they had women coming to the workforce and they could then, you know, you have an influx of people coming into the workforce that causes all that. I'm not necessarily yeah. agreeing or disagreeing. I'm just I'm just kind of explaining, well, I guess. I'm, I'm just women at the time were very they just weren't valued like that. So I just don't think corporations really thought they were intelligent enough to take those jobs and then they had to. So you think they had to? You don't think it came from women saying, I want to be in the workforce? I think some some were okay with it, but I think for the most part, companies were like, you're not fit for this job. You've never held a job before. You're not very smart. Like, So you're saying like the demand of the labor would, would disqualify women from being like fit for that role, I guess, is what you're trying to say? Okay, so like the re- so the reason why I'm, I asked this is I just was curious as to what you think of this. Um, there's like a couple things I think she gets wrong based off of 
um, like the federal student loans. I don't think that happened till 1968 or 69. Mm-hmm. Um, because it used to be you had to get like a loan from a bank or whatever. And honestly, like the federal student loans are given to everyone. But um, that is why college has increased in prices because, you know, there's not really negotiating, I guess, that happens on those for the most part. I don't think from what I, you know, I see. But again, I'm not an expert on this, but I just know that like the federal student loan thing didn't happen. So I think she's kind of partially wrong, but I think. I just, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I just, I think it's an interesting idea of what she's saying that like mm-hmm. this movement is causing like so much stress now, but I don't. Right. I mean, we just have so much inflation at this point from that time and that's why everything's more expensive. That's why you need like two jobs to do everything and two like, incomes. Not... Yeah. Um, and just like your pay has not increased the same way that prices have risen. That's true too. Well, and, and like, or, yeah, or, I'm, but you said there's inflation. Why is there inflation? Is that because of the women entering the workforce and the oh, dollar wow. being given out more and more? It's more the, yeah, I mean, I guess because the dollar's been given out more and more, but that's more unemployment type checks. And well, the government, the government then people actually. employs the most citizens in the United States. It's followed by Walmart. So if the government said, You know, if the government, like, again, I don't know anything about the specifics. I just thought this was an interesting, like, conspiracy Mm -hmm. theory or something. Um, But I just think, like, if the government then allowed jobs to open up, thus demanding tax dollars from people, thus, you know, would give more tax, you know, they would get more tax dollars, but um, it would be essentially taking more tax dollars to have, I mean, I guess a a starting role for women would be like a secretary type role or or something. And then, you know, as time got on and, you know, women went to college more and more, those, Mm -hmm. you know, those roles weren't just specifically made for women. But um, so I'm guessing probably in the 1960s, there was, you know, a a big workforce of government employees. And maybe that's where women started to influx into, which would take away U.S. dollar because those those jobs get taken and paid for by tax dollars. You know, everything that the you know government does is taxpayer funded so i don't know yeah. I, I just think it's interesting don't you or yeah, no but more men are in the government than women that's true so but i don't know what you're trying to say with that no i'm not trying to say anything but i'm guessing that a big influx of the workforce of women that you said weren't skilled labor they w- weren't valued as skilled laborers i'm not saying they weren't i'm saying they were not valued as that so so what so sign, signify the different difference i believe they were probably skilled i'm saying the corporation probably did not think they were very skilled and so are you saying that even though they wanted all the, the all that job all those jobs they didn't get them because they weren't skilled so that like there were no there wasn't an influx of women into the workforce no i didn't say there wasn't an influx i'm saying that they just didn't think like you're saying the cor- corporations didn't plan for that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay, that's fine. But I mean, do you think that they're so let's say cor- let's take corporations out of it. Do you think it could be a government conspiracy then? No, cuz that would be I don't know. I mean, I will never put anything past our government, but like they that would be kind of tough to make a whole movement from the government i don't know well i mean the government the cia has been you know it's been shown that they traffic drugs and um there's been uh proof that like uh the fbi has been on 4chan and has posted on 4chan and like and 4chan for those that don't know has a big like very like Honestly, like, there are, like, legitimate Nazis on there or neo-Nazis on there. Um, and there's been FBI influence of uh, or showing that, like, they posted trying to influence people on there. So, I mean, well, to think that... do that. So, like, at least they say. I'm not saying this is why, but they say it's because they want to catch the criminals doing this stuff. Right. That's true. But I think... I don't know. I think... I mean, I do think, like, the the when people aren't united and they're separate, then that's when like the government gets away with stuff. And I guess that's kind of, do you not understand what I'm saying? No. 
So when you cause issues and differences, um, like with race or with class or with anything, and you have like the middle class fighting with the lower class, then like the upper class kind of gets to get away with stuff because the middle class is looking at what the lower class is doing and the lower class is looking at the middle class. And if that's being influenced by the upper class and the upper class is kind of like doing stuff over here while these two groups are fighting. And I guess that can be said across everything. So essentially what I'm saying is like the FBI going on there and influencing people to do stuff might cause more separation of the, of the masses and mm-hmm. allow the elites or whatever like i'm not trying to get into a big conspiracy theory or anything but like whether or not you believe that there is some secret group or some whatever or that you know the republicans and democrats are the same side or whatever and they just are getting away with whatever stuff they want because they're causing all this conflict i'm just saying like it is possible that the government has definitely could have definitely influenced that movement at some level i mean i agree all i was trying to say is that they'll claim that it was to stop violence, to stop drug trafficking. Like, our little bit here is just a little drop in the bucket, and then we're going to take these big... You're talking about the CIA and the yeah. cocaine? Um, no, I. but, like, I, I just think it's kind of... In- again, it's an interesting conspiracy theory. I don't believe in all of it. Um, I think maybe if it's not a conspiracy theory, it still is kind of like uh, maybe... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I, it's it's just an interesting thought, and it's I just wanted to hear your input on it and mm-hmm. see what you had to say. So, um, all right. So you have an "Am I the asshole?" Right? Yep. All right. You want to go over that? So Ashlyn has an "Am I the asshole?" and "Am I the has- asshole?" is a subreddit on Reddit where people go and post um, their story, and they basically try and claim was I in the right or wrong on this, but it, it's in the framing of "Am I the asshole?" or "Was I not the asshole?" All right. So go ahead. All right, title on this one, Am I the Asshole Throwing My Neighbor's List in the Trash and Going to the Landlord Over This? So I read that originally and I was like, I have no idea what this is about to be. So just just bear with it. I, a male 27-year-old, recently moved in an apartment complex and Paul is my downstairs neighbor. He's a cop and a single dad living alone, but he has joint custody of his two kids who spend a few days a week with him. He welcomed me and brought me donuts when I moved in. We began talking, and he said he hoped I'm nothing like those irresponsible, dumb asses Mm -hmm. who lived here before me. He went on a full rant about them, causing issues for his kids, like interrupting their sleep, making noises, and proudly said he so far has evicted two tenants, had two tenants evicted from this apartment. He asked me to have some consideration for his kids when slash if I'm doing things that might interrupt their sleep or disturb the peace. I promised I won't because I've been there myself. So it turns out his kids are very noisy themselves. They run up and down the metal stairs and and play in the parking lot unattended. They have a dog out on the balcony 24-7 and he barks for hours at everything that moves. I sucked it up, but Paul started knocking on my door every other hour to complain about a number of things I do in the apartment. From walking on my own floor to flushing the toilet at 2 a.m. or using kitchen tools causing his kids to wake up. It's so silly, but I tried to be as considerate as I could. After a few weeks of complaints, he showed up in the morning to talk about how tired he was of having to constantly remind me of what should be done and handed me a list of things to consider. Not cooking slash frying certain dishes like fish and vegetables because somehow the smell gets into his apartment and makes the kids nauseous. I mentioned keeping the windows closed, but he refused. Same with certain perfumes I use. This one bothers him personally. Remove my parakeet pet completely from the apartment, not just the balcony, even though his kids' dogs causing issues. Remove plants that have a strong smell from the balcony and limit using kitchen tools or flushing the toilet too much at odd hours so his kids' sleep won't get interrupted on certain days. I don't know why that's italicized. I asked, is he serious? He said his kid's mental well-being matters, so he was dead serious. I gave the list back and said, sorry, this is ridiculous. He insisted that I try it out for a week and went on about how negative and inconsiderate I was being. I got mad and tossed the list in the trash can. Then I said I'd be talking to my landlord over this. So he talked to his landlord, and Paul returned in the evening and argued with me about how rude I was being towards him and his kids and said I had zero sympathy for not just refusing to be... For not just refusing to be considerate Mm -hmm. 
of his chi children's routine, but also going to the landlord, who said he wanted him to move out once the lease is complete. He said he and the landlord already don't get along, but now I caused him and his children to be moving out next month. Although he loves this area and lived here for over a year. Said I could have followed simple steps and saved him trouble, but it made it worse. I feel awful because Paul is generally a good guy who brings me food and calls me brother sometimes. <sighs> that last sentence actually threw me because I don't think I read that little piece before. So... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It seems like, I don't I mean, there's certain noises that, like, I think are, like, I think a toilet being flushed at 2 a.m. is not the end of the world, or, mm -hmm. I don't know, like, it's not like he, this guy was playing music or anything. I mean, Paul is absolutely in the wrong here, and right. I don't think he should feel bad, but I'm sure the landlord has dealt with, you know, tenants or whatever being, like... He said he had two tenants evicted already. I'm sure that landlord was like, I am over this. It's yeah. you that is causing the issues. Right. Here. Yeah. No. And I and I think maybe the first time he goes, oh, well, he's a cop. So maybe he's that. But like, mm -hmm. I mean, this, I'll say this guy reminded me of a cop that I know who, mm -hmm. who is very, very, um, very, very like hard headed when it comes to what he wants and very selfish very selfish so i don't maybe it's a cop thing maybe it's a cop type <laughs> or whatever but nothing but maybe. respect for the police but uh maybe it's just something like that but um God damn. yeah he is not the asshole <laughs> no not at all and I, I i think him being like this dude like won't leave me alone like well, you yeah i mean i agree and i mean if you if you're gonna be on your neighbors like that and be upset about that stuff, then you shouldn't be living in an apartment. You need to go rent a home or you need to buy a home or something because obviously the apartment life is not working for you because all of that stuff is normal at apartments. Well, I wonder why the guy's a single or a, he's a single dad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, geez. Really? Um, I don't know. I mean, this one seems pretty black and white, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm trying to like understand where. Right. Well, I'm wondering if there's more stuff that obviously he just didn't want to bring up because he doesn't want to be the asshole or something. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, like, he didn't say anything about like, yeah, I play music. I do this. And I'm like, because that one I could be like, OK, music. He probably is partying. He just didn't say that. But like cooking. Yeah, What's I wrong? know. Going to the bathroom at 2 a.m., like, I don't see an issue with that. Remove plants that have a strong smell from, like, how, like, sensitive are his kids or something? Like, I don't know. It's just, it seems like when you live in an apartment complex, you have to understand that you have to deal with just yeah. noise sometimes. We've dealt with that, so it's not... Our apartment, that we had people that smoke in their apartment, so everything we own smelled like cigarette smoke, but we didn't go... Yeah, our like, neighbors smoked weed all the time. <laughs> we were worried about our, like, puppies. Like, yeah. And, like... But, and, like, we didn't go stitch out of them or anything. Yeah, we just don't care. I don't know. And, like, we were smoke-free apartments, too. He said, Paul's not a good guy. He's a bully who has been <laughs> getting his own unreasonable way for far too long. I mean, I don't know. Just some some guys are like this, and, and I don't mean to say it reflects on cops or anything, but I I know a cop that is like this, mm -hmm. or a police officer that is like this. So I I'm just I can picture them and know <laughs> you exactly. And, you in your head, you're like, yep, okay, yeah, yeah. like I know this guy, I know. <laughs> yeah, and the cop and the cop that I know, I am fairly good friends with, and it's just that's just how this guy is. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's um, yeah, that's pretty funny though. Like, I'm, I, I would be so upset if someone came to me and I'm like, I'm literally so respectful of you. I don't complain about your kids doing all this stuff. I'm just like here living like that's fine. I have no other issues with any other neighbors either. It's just the fact that he is probably bringing that up, that he is upset with that stuff. Mm -hmm. I wonder, it is kind of weird that he said he's a cop. I don't think that's really pertinent to the story, but. Maybe it's just, like, to give some context or something. Probably to say, like, this isn't just, like, some redneck guy that lets his kids run around. Like, he, you know, he's a somewhat upstanding member of society, so he thought he would be mm -hmm. more responsible and a good I, neighbor. So, so with these, sometimes I like to see if they're fake or not, but I think 
because the username is that neighbor nine, it's probably some guy that's just like, I just want to post on this and just get like an actual, uh-huh. like he probably was feeling bad. Like he's like, I don't want to evic- evict this guy. I just right. want him to leave me the hell alone. Right. Which like, that is sad, but he didn't mean to do that. That's not his fault. Like if, if someone's coming at me, I am like that and that often, and I want to be done with it. I am going to the landlord for sure. If you get kicked out, that's not my fault. Right. Cause you're ridiculous. No, I totally understand. Um, any last thoughts or anything on this? No, I just don't have sympathy for assholes. Though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. All right. It's TikTok time. Are you ready for TikTok? It's tic- TikTok time. Okay. I love me TikToks. All right. Show me those ticky talkies. Is this lower? Uh, it's, it's not so much the background that you need. I'll, I'll probably cut a little bit of this out just because. So it's just an older brother. You know, helping out his, uh, I think that's an older brother helping out his younger brother with his little small ATV or mm-hmm. what you have it. So it's, uh, he's really going, you know, it seems like it's one of those things that like once you get going, you can't stop. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> he's a scream. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't break the door. <laughs> he was going pretty fast. Well, I think that's probably like what a it's twenty probably... pound ATV or something. Maybe it's forty pounds. I know, but, but the, how fast he was going! Ring. Like, there's no dent either. Well, and it's just funny. Like, he didn't <laughs> slow down at all. Like, I think there's just something wrong with that ATV. But like, well, maybe. But I just don't think he knew how to stop it, cause or start it or anything, cause that kid was helping. <laughs> that's true. All right, ready for the next yeah. one? <laughs> yeah. So I'm getting re- reimbursed for my Peloton uh, monthly membership through my company and I went to submit the receipt and I forgot that I named my bike Flemmy's Pussy Wagon. So I am unsure. I know. I wonder where she works that they do that for. Her. That's so nice. Isn't that nice? Yes, but I would be so, I think I'd just quit. Well, no, she didn't actually do it yet. So she was oh. going to submit it, but she was like, I guess I can't submit it. I now. was going to say, I would just quit at that point. <laughs> I didn't, nice to know that a Peloton membership is 4173 too. I'm definitely Flemmy's, not getting that. Flemmy's pussy wagon. <laughs> That's so stupid. I know. I, it reminded me, that'd be like, not that you would put pussy wagon, but you would put like a stupid name. My dump truck yeah, maker yeah. or something. I don't know. Yeah. Absolute gains. Okay. So this one. This one's good. They're obviously, I think they're shooting like a rap video or something, you know. How cool of them. Oh, God. (gasps) No. No. No, I can't. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought it was just going to go really fast and far away. The way it took his leg, bro. Oh, my God. It was a woof. Ah. Oh, God. You're welcome. Oh. Ready for the next one? Why do you like seeing people hurt that way? Because I'm crazy. I like seeing people get hurt, but not too bad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 I feel like that is not real. I, I don't know. <laughs> the way the camera I will say, it. to get an old lady to fall like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way the segue <laughs> moves after. Uh, that, yeah. Good one. That's that's a good hurt one. I like that one. Because it's not that bad. Oh, God. let <laughs> see a bunch of birds. Did what you see that? Death? What kind? Instant. <laughs> Watch. I know. I saw that. Okay. <laughs> I, did, I missed it the first time, so I just wanted to make sure you saw it. I was watching the birds. And then there's a Rick and Morty. Uh... Mm-hmm. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, this one. I don't know if you'll like this one. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> one more time <laughs> the way he hits his chest that was the loudest part bro i bet he could not breathe i know i for sure i would like to see the baby <laughs> it's just so stupid it looks so drunk that's from the the mandalorian I know. Oh man, that was that was a good one. See, that's see, I can laugh at not hurt ones. I didn't laugh as hard though. I'll be honest. All right, next up, last one. Oh god, this makes me nervous. It's a little baby. 
It's all good. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love when kids cut. I know. It's so funny. It's uh. so funny. All right, so that was my last one. Um, let's get yours up. I fucked that up. Sorry. If you work out because you want your body, your body to look a certain way, you don't care about health, you are fat phobic. Yeah. Why would I want to be fat? <laughs> if you work out because you that's all it is but i'm like what an idiot if you think that's fat phobic <laughs> like if you worked out if you work out because you want your body to look a certain so like that doesn't make sense like it she's she's saying like it's not about health it is about health but i also don't want to be fat <laughs> right i don't know i I was like, that's so stupid. Like, that's you're just so an crazy idiot. To me. <laughs> Man, I don't care what people do with their bodies. Just, just like. Do what you want, but goddamn, don't shade me I, for wanting to work I out. I know. <laughs> yeah, maybe I am fat phobic. <laughs> I Jesus mean, Christ, yeah. I guess. She was like, yeah, why would I want to be fat? <laughs> there is, it's, it's so weird. And like I said, I really don't care what people say. Just like, what, what bothers me most is when people like try to say that they. I'm trying to think of how I want to phrase this because what bothers me is when people are like, I'm trying and I'm trying and I, and I can't lose weight. And it's like, well, you're still drinking like Coke and you're still doing all that mm -hmm. stuff. Like, 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 you know, I think most people, not most people know, I think there is a huge, people just don't understand it, but there are certain things that people just outright should know. Like if you want to lose weight, don't drink Coke or drink sugar or whatever. Like, I, I'm not going to force anyone to do that. I don't care. It's everyone's choice to do that, but right. just like. I don't know. Like, there, we have had multiple friends that are like, I can't lose weight. And it's like, you see them and they drink a Dr. Pepper every day or something. Yeah. And it's like... And well, it, and they just don't eat healthy. It's right. Like, have you had a vegetable in, like, eight years? It's not even vegetables so no, much. It's, it's just, like... It's the people we know, like, they don't eat oh, vegetables yeah, yeah. No, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, th those people, but... yeah. And they're, like, they're the ones that complain. All right, ready? Where are you, where are you going with that? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> that's like actual wrestling technique, though, so I don't think that one was that bad. Okay, that's awesome. That one I like. <laughs> I just could not imagine if I walked into the gym and saw any of those. Like, I've seen some weird workouts before, but nothing on that i'm thinking about when we were we we went to a workout and we saw those soccer players they were on a medicine ball <laughs> it was swim it, swimmer it was swimmers they were on a medicine ball and i'm sure it is a workout i just have never seen anything like this but it was like so two swimmers two swimmers and and one was sat down and he had like those big those aren't medicine balls are they those big balls or are they just like the big rubber they're balls? big medicine weight they're balls. they're like they're not. they're not heavy they're they're rubber yeah and it's like huge it's one of those huge ones and so one had it between their legs, and one of the swimmers, yoga. I, what? Yoga balls? Something yeah, maybe a yoga fun. ball or something. One of them had it between their legs, and the other one <laughs> was like, in a, imagine like a push-up position, and then you put your feet on the ball. <laughs> and so the guy was holding him. I think it, they were on the bench and just had their legs out. No, I think they were holding themselves okay. up. I don't know. <laughs> but they were, they put their feet on the ball. <laughs> And they just started like moving their feet really quickly, so it was just a horrific rubber, rubber like being just hit noise. Tapping the ball with their feet. And I guess like now that I think about it, it is kind of a swimming motion, I guess. But still, it was just I've never seen anything it would like be, that. It would it, be difficult. Too. And it really threw me. And I'm not trying to work out shame. And, like some of these were ridiculous, but I will say there was one that was like actual wrestling technique. But it's like if you don't have a wrestler, maybe you're just practicing sweeps or whatever. Maybe but, just do it at home or something. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but maybe he wants to throw it. I I. I I don't know if you have the balls to do that at Planet <laughs> Fitness, man. Maybe you Good should just you, be left man. alone. Again, I'm not making fun of those people. It was just it really threw me off, and I <laughs> and I can imagine how that could be a workout. But I just I feel like right. there's maybe a better way to, to work on <laughs> right. that stuff. All right, your next one. Some guy spelling fresh avocado correctly on Del Taco signs. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I read that. Oh, okay. I thought you would like that. I do like that. I get it. I don't know. I guess I, we don't have a Del Taco, but I can understand. What? We don't have a Del Taco. So? No. I think it's just saying, like, they weren't supposed to spell it right. No, I know, okay. I know. <laughs> so I don't know if that's in their culture or whatever, but... Um, 
That's pretty funny. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Your next one. The TVA was pretty. That was so pretty my cool daughter joke. brought this in the <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what do I do? Name it Sly Cooper and raise it. Bro, look how scared the raccoon is. Oh. <laughs> she looks so happy. So my daughter Aww. brought. What would you do? <laughs> would you keep it or no? I would be so freaked out. I feel like you it's have a, to get a freaking rabies shot. Now. It's a baby raccoon. It'll be fine. Yes, but it, has, it probably has rabies, bro. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my god. I will say raccoons are disgusting creatures. They are. They, they, That's pretty cute. <laughs> their communities will kill themselves. So I worked on a golf course and I would have to pick up dead raccoon carcasses <laughs> because they literally like live in their own filth. And what they'll do is they'll shit on the ground. And then what they shit when it, on the summer days, it'll get really hot and it will fume. And so they'll be like sleeping in an area right near their shit. And the shit will like basically poison them and so they'll just walk out onto golf courses and just die it's really? it, yeah it's they're really not great creatures and they tell your backstory <laughs> sure i'll tell my backstory so so one time like i said i was working on a golf course um and i was a groundskeeper and there was a dead raccoon that came out and so i had to pick it up into a bag and so like i asked my boss where should i throw this 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 dead carcass and we just had like this back area just full of trash and so He's like, just, he, so I, it's in this plastic bag and he's like, just throw it in the woods. And I'm like, with the plastic bag? All right, whatever you say, boss. <laughs> so I go, I'm like, I'm like, what's the, what's he swinging that thing? What, I'm swinging this thing ready to launch it. And I'm wearing gloves because it's a dead Rocking. animal. And so when I go to let go, the plastic bag <laughs> sticks to my glove, but this raccoon comes shooting outside the bottom. This dead raccoon comes sh shooting outside the bottom of it, and it's just like flick swinging like this, and it just lands in the woods. And I'm like, I'm just like, well, you know, I guess, <laughs> hey, I can throw the plastic bag away. You don't have to worry about it, it being pollution. But this, just the the way this dead raccoon, it was just like float, like just, it like looked me in the eyes too. It was dead. But. It did like the zoom cut you see in shows and stuff. I was like, oh, and that was the first one I ever had to get rid of. So I beat it with a shovel just to make sure it was actually dead before I picked it. Yeah. So its eyes probably popped. Out. No, it didn't pop out. But I was just like, I didn't really beat it super hard. But oh, it was so funny. It was a, that was a that was a hell hellish summer. But that was definitely a highlight. Impression challenge, go. Okay. Um, hi, how are you? I'm from Britain. <laughs> hey, I'm walking in. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, <laughs> no, you can say you can do this one. Well, I'm just okay. Here, I'll take it from him. Ready? <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> do they actually do it or no? No. I'm Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like Michael Sarah. <laughs> yeah, he does. I'm Chinese. <laughs> that's pretty funny. What's your best Chinese impression? I'm not gonna do. <laughs> Here, here's mine. What the hell? <laughs> He's like, stay back. This cat's crazy. Aww. <laughs> he keeps throwing at the biggest tantrum. <laughs> what a. That's scary. I don't really like cats like that. They, I am always scared like a cat is going to claw at me. I know. I don't know. I mean, we have small dogs. We have small dogs, but... Ours are, our dogs are not nearly this bad at the vet, and I, I don't, thought they were. <laughs> like, we have small dogs, so I'm not really worried about them hurting me ever, but, and I, like, we mess with our dog. Like, we'll put our hands in their mouths, and, yeah, and we'll fight really them, care. and, yeah. God, I, I, don't, I really just, cats freak me out I'm a little sorry. bit. I really. <laughs> that was not the note you needed today. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's all right. It's not, it's not the end of the world, but. All right, here's your last one. Enter a page and it didn't look like that guy's in any of them, so I think this might be legit. So he's just singing a song to her or singing a song? Yeah. I don't know, because, like, she's in the bedroom. Like, I think she would have just left. <laughs> I do you, don't know. Do you have anywhere Tinder dates? No, I've never been on a Tinder date. Oh, okay. Have Good. You? <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, man. That's all. <laughs> that was good. What was your favorite TikTok today? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that kid. The getting, holy shit. Yeah. I or don't the, know. Or the rev, revving kid into the garage. Oh, I don't know. Both were good. Mine was mine was the fat guy going down the, the thing. And, really? Yeah. Mm. No, not your favorite mm. when he hit that. All right. Well, that is going to do it for our fourth episode of Hello Brother. Hello Sister podcast. Um, that was a lot of fun today. We hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we have a whole bunch of social medias that you can follow. Where can they find you? Uh, Twitter, Instagram, at Ashlyn Acock. And then I am on Twitch, YouTube. There's a TikTok. There's my Twitter. There's all sorts of stuff. So feel free to check me out on that. I do want to be more active on those. But uh, who knows? Maybe maybe I will, I'll try it a little bit more. But yeah, make sure you subscribe to all that great stuff so you can see more episodes of Hello Brother, Hello Sister. Um, again, if there's any topics, someone gave me the topic of the Slave One thing um, from Star Wars last week and wanted me to you know suggest that. So if you have any topics you would like to hear us discuss about, we can do that. Um, we try to stay pretty like neutral on on all grounds when it mm-hmm. comes to that stuff and not really give away too much of our our thoughts, I guess. But while also trying to make a point. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, we hope you enjoyed, and we hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.